began asymptomatic testing. Several student organizations at FTCU organized. And we're going to play Guess the Song. Hello. Welcome to Hanging with the Executives here at the Bower School of Music. And you're watching ENTV. Hey guys, and welcome back to Hard Hitters. I'm your host, Sarah Mankiewicz, and I'm joined with... Carson Zorn. Tyler Watkins. Nick Aslan. And we have the Super Bowl coming up this week, and so a little recap of um, what got these teams to the Super Bowl was the Bengals had beat the Chiefs 27-24 to in overtime. Um, so, Carson, I'll let you take this one a little bit. Yes, as the lifelong Bengals fan, I can say it's about darn time. Um, you know, the first half had me stressed out entirely. Something happened at halftime, and our defense just went on lockdown. Uh, Chiefs only scored three more points that entire game, and it was in the last seconds of the fourth quarter to send it to overtime. I was very happy, and you know, we don't have to watch Jackson Mahomes or Brittany Matthews in the Super Bowl, so oh boy. America won. <laughs> yeah, because it was, it definitely seemed like the Chiefs had it, and like it was a Chiefs mm -hmm. win for this game, and like, oh, the Bengals don't stand a chance, blah, blah, blah. Like, I think most of us predicted the Chiefs to win against the Bengals, anyways. <laughs> Right. Yeah, yes. <laughs> um, so we had seen that, and then as the game started, and we see the Chiefs take obviously the lead in the beginning and just keep up that lead. Um, but for that Bengals comeback, making sure that they made it go into overtime so that way they had it because we weren't even sure if the Bengals were going to be able to make it into overtime. Yeah. Um, but I'm curious to know what you guys think of the overtime rules a little bit. They definitely need to be changed. You can't, it's too, there's too much power on a coin toss. You're deciding a whole team's future for the season on that one coin toss. And if, you know, if you're a team like the Chiefs, that's almost certainly a W, except for the case of this past week. So it definitely needs to be changed to at least give both teams a fair shot. Both teams, I feel like, deserve an even shot at, at the football. If one team scores a touchdown, it shouldn't, shouldn't just end the game. Like, they should get the Not chance. even a touchdown, too. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's like three points. Exactly. We also had another exciting game. We had the Rams beat the 49ers 20 to 17. This one didn't go into overtime. It was very close <laughs> to going into overtime, mm -hmm. I saw, but it didn't, and the, the Rams ended up taking it, um, obviously. Good defense still on the Rams. Like I said, 49ers. Just that inconsistency, you don't know what kind of team you're going to get. You know, it's another case of Kyle Shanahan not being able to finish and coach a team to a win after being up by multiple scores. And keep in mind, Charlotte Bay gave up all of his timeouts like before the 10-minute mark in the fourth yeah. quarter. I think they used all their timeouts before they, like the other team even used a single timeout. So yeah, because, like McVay they had being, all of them left and none of them left. Yeah, and yeah. McVay was being really aggressive with the challenges. That's how he lost. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's how he lost on some of his timeouts because he was just being aggressive on like every play and then eventually it paid off. Matthew Stafford, he's been carrying the team as a Packers fan. You know, it's, it's good to see. <laughs> Are you a Packers fan? I don't <laughs> Today I'm a Packers. Bengals fan. This week, <laughs> but um, no, it, it's it's good to see Matthew Stafford having success. Before we get into the Super Bowl, though, um, I would like to touch on some very exciting news for me, I guess, um, would be, <laughs> not so much for Tyler, that um, Tom Brady, after 22 years, is retiring. I mean, he... <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I mean, after playing on my team for 20 years and only Tyler's for two years, he seems to be more upset about it, but <laughs> I'll let you take it from here. First of all, I want to say thank you to TB12 for bringing two years of joy to this Bucks fan and also to all of Tampa Bay and changing really the culture of the city when you look at it. It really was amazing. An amazing ride for 20 years of misery that we have had. He delivered a Super Bowl to the city that was in a long drought since 02. And I just want to say thank you to him for two years of joy. Yeah, well, he didn't have much thanks for the Patriots. Yeah, <laughs> at all. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he'll get you at, um, four years from now in Canton. Do you guys think it was time for Tom Brady to retire? Do you think he should have kept going? I think it's time. You know, they they did a lot for the cap to bring back the entire team that they won the Super Bowl with the year before. And I feel like this is kind of the same situation I feel like my quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, is going to be in where you had your all-in years. Next year is going to look a lot different. You may not be able to have those same weapons, those same key pieces that you know would get you in the Super Bowl contention. And I feel like that's what Tom was saying. He was like, you know, this is, I'm not going to leave, go to another team again. This is it. I did not think he'd hang it up after a loss. I thought he would come yeah. back for one more year, try to end on a Super Bowl. Super Bowl win and retire. That's mm -hmm. what I was thinking. So too. I didn't see it coming. That doesn't mean it wasn't the right decision for him. Obviously, mm -hmm. he knows his body and his mental state more than anyone else in the world, 
He has more championships as a single person than any <laughs> team yeah. does. Yeah. He, greatest quarterback of all time, I have to say it. Sorry for your loss. It's all right, trash season, Now you know baby. how it feels. <laughs> trash <laughs> season? Trash season, baby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> go. Gosh, Kyle Trash. <laughs> Um, in other news, too, we also had the Washington football team now become the Washington Commanders. Yeah, you know, this one was leaked for quite a while, and uh, the NBC local helicopter basically all but confirmed it the night before the official release by flying over FedEx Field and zooming in on the, the team's pro shop with all of the Washington Commanders merchandise. See, that's kind of on the team, though. That's, yeah. That's kind of yeah, on a little get bit. Some yeah, <laughs> but I especially love the uniforms. It kind of gives me uh, Minnesota Gopher vibes with the helmets. I really like their helmets. Uh, it kind of gives me that college football feel. Um, but the black helmets, eh, with the W on the front. Uh, I like the white jerseys. Yeah, so not so I like the white jerseys are pretty nice. I think yeah. the jerseys actually are pretty cool. Yeah. That name is what it is. I, you know, I looked at their <laughs> finalized list of like what were like the top five or top ten like finalized yeah. like what they were thinking, and I think there are about three or four that were better than Commanders, but yeah. you know, at least they're no longer called the football team. Yeah, the so Washington you got to take what you can get. <laughs> but the moment you've all been waiting for is our Super Bowl predictions, and so with that we have the Bengals versus the Rams. I have a feeling I know what Carson's going to pick, and I have a feeling that there's going to be some upsets. <laughs> In his first full year as a starter, Joe Burrow took this team to the Super Bowl. That says something about him. Well, I mean, a team that hasn't been to the Super Bowl in 34 It's north years? of 30 years. Yeah, yeah. Something like that, We've yeah. broken so many droughts this year. The real thing that could decide this game is the Rams D-line versus the Bengals O-line. Uh, I have yep, been sweating that's bullets. That's my main point. <laughs> I have been sweating bullets thinking about Aaron Donald versus literally anyone on our O line. He is the best defensive tackle, defensive edge in the NFL. Uh, and our O line is still subpar. You know, the fact that we're here is great, but it's still not great. Um, but I think the one thing is that the Bengals' defense is very underrated. We have some great corners. We have Mike Hilton, who's maybe the best slot corner in football. He'll be going up against Cooper Cup. And then we'll have our best corner, Cheeto Bayouzier, against. OBJ. As we've seen in the Titans game, as we've seen in the Chiefs game, the Bengals offense capitalizes when the defense can get a turnover. So because of all that, I'm just feeling it this year. Why not? Bengals win 34-31. Last second field goal, Evan McPherson walk off. A full prediction here, guys. Yep. <laughs> um, does anyone agree with Carson? I think the Bengals will take this, and I think it really just comes down to the Simpsons. You know, yeah. <laughs> they predict everything in one of their episodes. The Cincinnati Bengals beat Los Angeles. So there you have it. That's the, the prediction. Simpsons are what he's basing his prediction on. I mean, another thing to think about too, <laughs> Chinese New Year was very recently. It's the year of the tiger. Oh That's my all I'm gosh. saying. I told you so on the chat, you guys are actual... <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to go off the Chinese New Year and the Simpsons instead of like win records, like offense, you bet. <laughs> Solid. All right. Well, I'm going to go based on more defense and offenses uh, because I have the Rams. I hate to upset you guys. I think it's going to be a really close game. Mm -hmm. Believe me. I think that it could potentially be an overtime Super Bowl perhaps, but I do see the Rams coming out on top. Just please not another Super Bowl 49 where <laughs> one of the teams gets murdered. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was Seahawks horrible. versus Broncos. That D-line for the Rams, I just, I'm scared for Burrow. I'm sorry. Oh I'm God. just, <laughs> I'm, I'm scared for him. As much as I want the Bengals to win, I just, I can't. I can't go against the Rams in this situation. Stafford's probably going to get his first ring. Cooper Cup and OBJ are really going to carry that offense as well. And it's just, I mean, it's going to be a close game, but I definitely have an offensive, well, probably not an offensive shootout, but I say like 24-20, maybe, Rams' favor. Well, we will find out shortly um, who was right. We've got a split of who's going to win the Super Bowl here. Um, so please tune in next week for our recap of the Super Bowl. And that is all we have for Hard Hitters. Thank you for watching.